Hello, welcome. I just click on the wrong button and stop the recording. Just let me know if you see the stream now. <laughs> uh, Tarox, do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, okay, I, I okay. can hear you. Again, welcome. Just... Okay, okay. So let's let's do this. Let's start this uh, playthrough of the best low poly game made by us in the prehistoric era. That is survival, crafting with the community management. You can't find a better game like there. Uh, something about us: uh, we are a small team, a small group of uh, yeah, couple of friends trying to make it, uh, trying to do proper first game, and it's quite tough for us. But we are still convinced that we have something interesting, and we want to build this with your help and with you. And we are reading all your comments and uh, really like listening to you. And as you can see, there is already lots of new t uh, fixes and tweaks that we publish. We now are focusing on uh, the, the bigger, bigger ones, bigger chunks. But uh, don't worry, the sleeping bag would be fixed as well. Uh, uh, I am a Pavel and. I am, I would say, like uh, the jack of all trades here for everything. Uh, I also like um, made this UI, and here with me is wonderful Tarox, that is art director and technical artist in this game. And we also have a George, that is, I uh, hopefully, do we have George? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, cool. He's not usually that quiet, so. <laughs> That's why I was confused. He made all of the sounds. So please, guys, introduce yourself. So yeah, I'm Paul, and yeah, people call me Terox. And yeah, I, as Pavel said, I'm technical uh, director of uh, the game, and also I've been working on the uh, on the map, on the map generation, and also on some of these uh, 3D models. And also I'm uh, working on uh, on the game as a VFX artist, uh, artist, even though our game is not about magical fantasy epic spells, but still we have some. And yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I believe you did a great job even like with our weather like system when you, you are hit by the lighting. Uh, that's partially because Tarox made it so great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also, George, please tell, tell us something about yourself. Okay, my turn. So, as Pavel mentioned already, I'm the guy who was in charge of the creating sound and music for this game. So everything you, you will be able to hear, it just went through my hands. And I wanted to achieve a result where the game will be as precise as possible with the sound so I just used the library from the other guys where the sounds are let's say much quality because they were recorded the live animals, live ambiences, the weather conditions and so on. I'm not sure if you all play the game, uh, all of you, but if not uh, feel free to do it and yeah i think that's it so Pavel, yeah 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 if uh, if you are starving in our game actually and you see these horrible guttery sounds that's made by george and you can thank him uh, and we are also saying no no nazdar všem čechům how many uh, like please Češi, řekněte nám, kdo tady je, prostě, kdo nám nerozumí, když mluvíme anglicky. Je, prosím, <laughs> nás by to fakt zajímalo. Uh, we are going to like continue in English, don't, don't worry. And let's, let's do this, let's start the game, let's click the new game. Yeah, I, I just keep the intro because uh, probably most of you have seen this and the ones who not should buy the game. <laughs> but 
Yeah, we just wanted to st start all the experience with uh, something that will get you in the mood, uh, get you in the story that we are working on and we prepared. So we have like uh, like bits and bits of like some animations uh, there, and we are also planning to continue with this story and prepare this kind of intros for every migration or every like technology era and part. Uh, yeah, so now we started, uh, we see that we are in some kind of big hut, uh, we see our tribe members, everyone is cool, cozy, and uh, they are just uh, useless right now. So uh, the best thing we should go is probably like go outside, but since some of you maybe played our de demo and th there was not a possibility to save, now there is a new functionality in the game. You can actually save in two places. One is the bed, and as you can see here, you can actually sleep on the bed as well. So I can hold the L and switch the action. And when I'm doing this, uh, like the new menu pop up and I can actually save the stuff. And we also prepare the sleeping bags. Uh, and <laughs> we are going to fix them but the idea there is uh, that you can sleep in the bed but you ca can only build the bed inside the hut so that's the downside of it it's co quite costly but if you wake up uh, you are not starving immediately or you have full health of <laughs> i don't know if i remember it well but if you build a sleeping bag you can build it anywhere but then if you use it f uh, for for sleeping uh, you will wake up uh, with a half of the health or something like that uh, we are still balancing the the numbers uh, and trying to improve uh, the gameplay as, as we speak guys uh, tell me something about that world of politic and uh, what we can like see here what we can enjoy yeah, like, uh, so actually, uh, we're starting in the first camp. There will be many of these camps during our uh, playthrough. And as you can see, there's a lot of forests and uh, all kinds of biomes that you will find uh, around the world. And all of these biomes have some specific resources that you can find in them. And yes, that's that's it. Uh, as you can see, we have a water there, uh, so yeah, in our game you can swim, and in the background uh, you, might uh, you might find some mammoths that we might uh, get into later through this playthrough. So yeah, stay tuned. Uh, yeah. Uh, for now, like the, our first like task, oh, and I'm already starving, so... <laughs> We, it seems that we crank up a little bit like the hunger hunger system but don't worry uh, uh, we are already like extending that so you will get more numbers and understand it better basically there are two sets of hunger one is like uh, the player and if you are hungry you get this uh, debuff starving uh, also the screen goes red as you can see and there is the sounds of like starvation but also here you can see that uh, this icon is red and the number is uh, m minus six so that means this is like global hunger or global food of consumption the consumption of the tribe and you can see our tribe uh, like Al alder is not happy like because he's starving as well with us and the way how to fix that is actually pretty simple just go outside gather something and put it to the to the storage so now I'm just like gathering the stuff that are the closest. There are also roots. Uh, roots can be used for consumption. Now in the improvement version you see uh, what they actually do because every type of food do something a little bit different. Some is good for stamina. Some is good for restoration of the health. And you can actually eat uh, two 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 type of food to get the most of the buffs so yeah i just eat the roots and then i can also expand my bar by eating uh, the nuts 
I'm doing this with the uh, left button. So now, now we are in a little bit better shape, and I can take the first step, uh, first quest. Uh, as you can see, the other function that uh, Elder has are now locked, and that's why, why because uh, we see that as a kind of tutorial. Uh, for the first time you were playing this, uh, so we are unlocking the new function with each quest. Now, this is the simple things that you can do in any game. Just gather the rocks and craft something with it. So, actually, uh, <laughs> there is sometimes there is a problem that uh, we <laughs> there is a lot of rocks around, but you can actually just gather the big ones uh, that are glowing. So don't don't be scared, don't be confused by that. Uh, you can actually mine these bigger chunks of rocks as well. Yeah, basically everything which is glowing is a gatherable item that you can pick up and use it later. Uh, people in the chat are asking if there will be a character creation or creator in the game. Sure. Or if we plan it. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. We, we plan it. It's just kind of hard for, for us like to start with it uh, uh, the reasons are like uh, uh, there there goes actually a lot of work to it making sure that uh, everything is uh, modular and combine it and since we are doing everything in this game ourselves uh, we we are leaving this for a little bit later since we don't feel that it's that much you know, like important for 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 now uh, you can actually see that you are like spawn in different character each time you start the game so yeah it will be possible uh, we are definitely planning to have that and uh, yeah uh, but please tell us tell us uh, we are just curious uh, what what kind of character you would be uh, you want to like create because like you you see that it's quite low poly he is quite small so I would be curious if you want to like change the hair and beard, or you want to do something more extra, or like uh, like the shaman has like the uh, tattoos or some some different stuff. Also, you can see that now uh, like the weather is a little bit changing. You can like see it because uh, the clouds are now everywhere, and there are no sharp shadows anymore and fog starts rising and rain starts yeah raining and the wind starts blowing so yeah we have <laughs> like a cool weather system here that uh, can do quite nice nice stuff yeah actually we plan to add some uh effects that weather might cause onto your tribe but currently this is just a visual stuff that doesn't uh, have any effect on anything right now but yeah this is just something that we hopefully will introduce later. Uh, uh, there are more questions actually. If there, if we are planning a chicken coop in the game, uh, yeah. and actually, yeah, we do. Uh, we we have it already uh, in the game, yeah, but we... I'm not sure if it's already buildable. But it definitely will be with the uh, next uh, era update. Uh, yeah, uh, let's. Uh, I will show you how to build something in this game, and then we can try to build a chicken coop uh, ourselves. Uh, you open the crafting wheel by by hitting C, I believe, and then you need to decide which kind of category you want to do. Now we need to create a chopper, so I'm doing chopper. And some of you may notice that I am like uh, picking a lot of things from the ground. Uh, that's how uh, these games are played. But uh, still, I get like the the points from everything I do in our game. And you actually, by doing these tasks, you can see that you are unlocking them. What that means? Uh, yeah, Terox, please explain this function. That I believe it's quite nice. Uh, yeah, so actually uh, you can unlock uh, various, uh, or do you mean like the uh, technology or the task? Tasks, tasks. Oh, so basically in our game uh, we have uh, NPCs that you can recruit and they will help you. And basically uh, you can give them some tasks once you, uh, oh, you can give them some tasks. Uh, 
for example, gather something or craft something for me as a player or uh, hunt some animal down. And to unlock these tasks, you need to perform that action uh, multiple times. So basically you will learn uh, or you will teach those NPCs how to do it. So if, for example, you would uh, like to let people gather some locks, you need to gather a bunch of uh, wood locks and then you will be able to give this order or this task to the NPCs. Uh, that's true. Uh, one thing I need to do now is uh, like craft the first weapon. The first weapon, some of you said that it's useless <laughs> and it's, uh, it's horrible. Uh, some of you said that this is the best weapon. So uh, yeah, we are f uh, looking for a ways how to improve our combat actually and we are now like we will be soon introducing uh, some locking to the animals and we are also talking about how we can make this more feel uh, that you are the hunter or prey and yeah so you know that we listen again to your thoughts and we also want to make the fights more uh, responsive uh, so yeah i will use the club now uh, just select it on the hotbar and the easiest animal right now to kill is just the chicken and you can find it by just like this sounds that it's producing I think it's somewhere in the wilderness hopefully okay I hear it it's somewhere where it is Ah, I have it. Yeah, and this is the reason why the lock would help actually here. Uh, <laughs> are there any questions <laughs> when I will be trying to kill these animals? Yeah, there are a few. Uh, basically, uh, if we, uh, or if it's possible to meet uh, another tribes in the game, and uh, uh, this uh, question is by Tetref and yeah. he said that or she that uh, it will be At really cool if you would be able to chase those tribes down and ba basically move them away from their land. Uh, Tetref is always trying to, <laughs> <laughs> to ask these questions. Thank you for it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we are planning to definitely add some new NPCs that can be found in the world. Uh, regarding the tribe, we are not sure what we want to do there. Uh, seen, like what we learned about that day, that uh, it was not that territorial, at least this hunters and gatherers era. <laughs> and the, the, the people have like not that much fighting like over because they are like not owning anything. So but yeah th this would make uh, the game l quite more interesting so we will look for ways how to we can like extend the fight from animals to something else and good question uh, thank you very much for asking this but since i i am useless when i talking please uh <laughs> and i didn't kill the chicken that i usually can do like quite easily and now the night is coming uh, I need at least set the fire so we will survive and for that I need luck oh man like this is a really a really a horrible playthrough so please guys tell something more about like our game to the to the, to the users and I will be hunting those chickens at night Yeah, so actually, uh, in our game, uh, it's uh, or our game, it's not all about crafting, surviving, and stuff, but also it has a storyline, and it's a kind of a twist that I don't want to spoil too much. So uh, yeah, it's it's uh, basically on on the map there will be some uh, wait. Uh, basically, uh, there are some places where you will find some really interesting stuff. I'm not sure if we will be able to manage to get at least a few of these uh, in this playthrough. But 
uh, I think you should really stay tuned for those because it gives a little bit of twist to our game. Yeah, uh, yeah, I will probably like a little bit speed it up since I'm that that uh, yeah. hor horrible with it. So let let's do the hand hand thing. Uh, uh, I have. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I have my handy console here. So now, now we are actually like uh, carving uh, the animal and it's it's based on the tool you have for carving and by that if you hit it in proper time you get better loot. Yeah, as your technology progress and you get uh, basically better tools you will be able to get a better yield when you're carvi carving so which means that you will have more food or uh, on other resources like uh, bones and and fur and this kind of things from animals it's always nice yeah now now we are getting to these npcs and to these quests so now i can add the tri member i still have okay happiness but i need more food for it uh, uh, we don't have that much time, so I will just like generate the food out of a thin air, and with that I can show you what we also have prepared for you for this uh, next eras. So I will take more stuff. So you can see what's happening. So it will be more fun. So yeah. Uh, So now, uh, if if you hover it, you see uh, how much like uh, points for for food you have. Uh, they are basically each type of food has different points, and the happiness is also should be or will be <laughs> counted by the fact how many variation of food you have and different aspects like individual needs of the NPCs and so on. Uh, yeah. So let's create a new new tribe member to help us and yeah he, here it is uh, in the amazing glory and the thing I can do it it's just say hey I will sit er next to you or I will interact with you and you can see that we have uh, like couple of options uh, there is some needs uh, uh, that uh, can improve the happiness of this tribe member there are tasks but we didn't unlock any and we have also function to assist and it's really great for start when you click it uh, the npc actually will support you and do what you are doing so it's a good way how to get those points and gather uh, more things just take your npcs with you and now you will be unlocking the stuff quite quite faster uh yeah i believe i also create uh, some couple of new weapons uh, like you can't uh, get the wood by just punching the trees or like hitting them with club that doesn't work but if you have x now you see the numbers are pretty higher when you do this so you can use the club or any different weapon but it will take yeah way too long time to cut down the tree yeah yeah actually if you want to save some time you can also bait animals into yeah. those trees and they will cut those trees down <laughs> as well yeah, you can see like these eggs are useless like uh, when, when it comes to the rocks, but then you have the mullets and this is again like better for the rocks as well. So like pretty standard stuff, uh, but yeah, you do a do couple of the, the tasks and mm -hmm. now we unlock the rocks as you can see. And we can... Yeah, I think we can recruit the one more NPC. Uh, yeah, for sure. Let's do this. And oh, we can't. <laughs> we need more food. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, like I will just ask this NPC what he got gathered so far and if he had some food. No. <laughs> Actually, no. But it doesn't matter because I will give him a task to 
now you can see the task in their glory and those are the things i've i've unlocked uh, i unlocked the get your rocks so i will assign it to that and uh, by uh, like assigning these tasks uh, the npc the tribe member is now like uh, gathering the rocks as we speak you can see how that's progressing and also you can see how the level the global level of gathering increases uh, when uh, sometimes there are different kind of tasks that requires higher level uh, uh, so you need to like train your npcs by the way but yeah let's let's finish this quest and let's let's the interesting one uh, as well yeah Yes, also keep in mind that uh, if you have a following NPC, uh, that particular NPC doesn't uh, do any tasks at all at that moment. So if you want to let people or tribe member do some tasks, you need to disable the following function. Uh, that's that's true. We are also like, uh, we are already coded a new a new like a uh, windows and information for it uh, so you will instantly know that uh, these these npcs are not doing tasks since it's following you and this will be uh yeah this will be up uh, quite quite soon with uh, additional fixes and improvements uh yeah now now i have a quest to find a special formation like uh, so i can like run through the world and see a bigger chunk of the map that is like here at uh, Tarox you can tell uh, our uh, like audience how we like created this world because we didn't um, put uh, like each tree there manually right yeah actually actually we are using uh, map magic which is a um, uh, third party add-on for unity and uh, basically, we are generating this procedurally, like uh, the map is procedurally generated, but uh, currently uh, the map is ev uh, every time the same because uh, we've done some manual tweaks to the map, but there is some possibility that in the future the map will be fully procedure generated, so there will be different playthrough every time, but it's not possible yet. And now we are next to the monument, yeah. yeah, which is one of the things I've been talking about, about the storyline and about the little twist. And yeah, that's it. We've managed to uh, complete the quest successfully. Uh, in the future, we plan to add a little bit of cinematics to it and a bit of storytelling. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little boy! <laughs> I'm useless when it comes to this these boards. Uh, I didn't play that game that much as you guys, so this will oh shit! This will oh. this will be a little bit problematic. I should eat. I should eat something first. Oh, that's that's a yeah. I actually, boards are spawned uh, in a multiple. When so usually when you find one, you where will find it? more of those. <laughs> where is my <laughs> Oh, or where is uh, where is a river? That's my only like way how to survive. Now I run out <laughs> of stamina. So yeah, yeah. Fuck you, boars. Sorry for that languages, but uh, yeah, yeah. Those guys killed me so many times. Uh, as you can see, we want to like uh, empower the player to use uh, more NPCs for hunting as well. So it's quite harder for you to go away alone, and you can actually like uh, give a weapon to your tribe member and use their help uh, when like hunting the mammoth, for example, or so on. And we are still like working on that. We want to improve the like uh, their. AIs, I, I would say so. They are better dodging and they have like different stances. So yeah. Maybe you can show the mechanics with the sneaking if you are following NPC. Because I considering like interesting. Okay, I'm still like. Those guys are just discussing something about me. Uh, but uh, the tasks. 
tasks are working. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take this quest for now. Uh, the way that uh, the NPCs are st storing the things in the storages. So we have like this normal storage for rocks and woods, and uh, there is the food storage that I should like. <laughs> Uh, that I should also add some task to it uh, so the food will be automated as well uh, yeah you wanted to show the sneaking well okay let's let's add some food and let's make a bigger team for now yeah you can also click shift and you don't have to move it over Okay, so I have new tribe member here, and he is assisting me. And when I'm sneaking, he is sneaking. And we are now in process of improving like the sneaking and agro mechanics. So it will make sense more in the second era when you will be taming animal or like hunting them down, taking them. Uh, we are now working on the system when you can actually find the separate cups from the animal and you can sneak to them and take them and run with them or you can find some eggs in the wilderness uh, so you, you can start the, like this farming part of our game okay let's let's uh, do the, the chicken pin <laughs> uh, for now for now uh, we are working on the models as you can see uh, there will be I guess four type of this kind of breeder. Yes. Yes, is it true? Yes, four. four. Uh, currently, as you can see, the building is completely built, as you can see, and when Pavel will be building it, it will pop up and it will be built. But uh, in the future, we would like to make it more like uh, modular, so players uh, will basically be able to tweak it a little bit, probably. And yeah, this will determine the size of the uh, um, of the group of animals you will be able to fit into. Yeah. So let's. Oh, oh, he find a way out. Yeah, they will be always like going outside if you don't close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are not that stupid. Some to his inventory to make the help of building is working. NPC. Okay, uh, we can show it when we will be building our own pit. Uh, so, just uh, I'm trying to show you that uh, like the parts and pieces are there, uh, and we just now need to polish the gameplay and so on. Uh, yeah, so I will take this as well, close this, and. Uh, yeah, we have like this twig wall, wooden wall, a wood fence, so you can basically build uh, different kind of fences with them. Uh, there is also a mechanic that you can change the variant of it. So yeah, you can make the stuff more fancy. And it works... I intended. <laughs> uh, I'm so <Good>. clever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So yeah, you can build something like this. Actually, it's pretty flexible. And yeah, if you don't want to spend a lot of time building this, you can always uh, use the help of those NPCs that will help to build uh, those buildings. But first, you need to give them some uh, tools, actually. Mm -hmm. And for the fence, it's, uh, it's a stone uh, mallet, I think. Yeah, so yeah, I will give him my own stuff and hopefully in the club as well. Uh, as you can see, these uh, these models are not uh, like uh, updated. Uh, we, we are planning to use the 3D models here and with the character customization, there will be option to actually use some clothes to get your, for example, warmer in these like icy, icy areas that we have in the game. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, 
I don't know. I think you can right. throw this away. This chicken pants. Okay, so now he's Great. he's actually helping me, right? And when I start building, it helps me to build it as well. So I don't have to like do each of these ones alone. We can also s like see a little bit better if I change the date. We actually like have like pretty clever system here when uh, lots of things are possible and even like a uh, day of the year madras and latitude and we are thinking uh, to utilize this uh, when it comes to the seasons uh, that we are uh, like want to uh, introduce in the second era so like the farming makes sense in the central time period and not in the winter for example Yeah, so yeah, you can build something like this. We have like also these feeders and like different stuff, but uh, they are not currently in the current build. Uh, but they are already prepared. And for that, I, I need some different stuff that I don't have in inventory, so yeah. That's that's for like that. Uh, any questions? Uh, any questions? I see that the chat is pretty quiet. Uh, uh, so yeah, I I need some meats now, <laughs> uh, and I just unlock a new hunting task. So, so that's that's cool, I guess. And yeah, you can actually see what uh, additional tasks you have. You can assign up to four tasks, but uh, then the productivity is like split in between those those two, so it's not that effective. For example, question so about the weapon. Uh, for example, if we are planning to introduce some Mohav or Tomahav. But maybe you can show the different type of weapons which mm -hmm. we already have in the game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I can show you some some stuff that you probably like. They are a little bit later in the game. Uh, one like cool mechanics that we have it, and you probably di don't didn't discover it because it's quite hidden. Is uh, the fire is actually pretty important. Right, and you need them uh, to make sure that predators at night stay away from your camp. It works like the first night is okay, the second night the pairs are spawning, also based on the f food that you have in, in the stockpile, and then in third night uh, they are also saber to around. Some animals sleep at night, so it's easier like to fight them, and I here I just want to use uh, show you some some different weapons. For example, the bow is quite OP right now. Uh, you, if you like, use it, uh, you can gather the arrows if you are lucky. Back then, so you don't have to like uh, lose everything you've built. And if you use uh, the fireplace. You can actually uh, set them uh, in the fire that is handy uh, against the animals uh, again. But it's just a small, s small stuff that we can probably like use later, like a bit lightings, a weather system, and, and so on. Then I have a spear and yeah, javelin as well. This also pretty handy weapon, I believe. Uh, what else? What else? Well, I've just discovered that you can use also a, a simple blade. I thought that it's just for carving, but no. <laughs> yeah, it's there. Oh, it's a little bit harder to hit these moving animals, but like it's good for the bigger ones. Like, like this. Deers. It's always uh, better to just uh, let them move away a bit, so they de-aggro and then you can freely shoot on them. 
Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can take my arrows and then I can carve the animal and now you can see how it disappears That was also made by Tarox Yeah, I probably need to eat something we can also like think about it later if we want a player to eat that much It's usually better to eat two stuffs, so it like takes longer to, to, to start starving uh, now you can like see that we we hidden throughout the world little small like easter eggs or like things here you can see a broken old camp uh, when you go to it and you examine it you actually receive a new recipe for for the monument that you can start building up and it gives you a like global bonus that is pretty handy and these these gentlemen are are lovely bison that kill a lot of you on the demo <laughs> and will probably kill me as well they are okay when it comes to this oh, okay uh, they are okay when they are alone basically so yeah Tarox now just uh, like created a really cool shader that you will be seeing how much uh, like uh, damage he received yeah this is one of those things that uh, we would like to introduce because we don't want to have like an hp bars or anything like this in our game so we were thinking like uh, way uh, about ways how to introduce the progress uh, you are doing while damaging the animal so yeah we've come to the conclusion that we will create a shader for it so yeah in one of those future updates those animals will become basically fluffy and a little bit of damaged when basically when you uh, deal damage to them so yeah uh, we had like different kinds of animals here. Okay, here you can see the mammoth. Uh, he is like a pretty, pretty, pretty calm guy. The cool thing about the mammoth is that he is going to sleep at night, as you can not see. Uh, but yeah, the thing I I can create is actually fireplace, and I can see a, a one other cool mechanic that it has. So yeah, uh, I hope hopefully this will work. So yeah, I'm building the fireplace. I I need to set the fire. The first recipe for starting fire is more costly, but then it's just a lot. And then if we create a torch, if the crafting wheel, and we don't have like you don't want to see. Like look at me like creating stuff through crafting wheel so I will sped it up we have like torch in the game that is quite powerful and good for night but you need to ignite it so if you go closer to the fireplace it actually starts I think you should heal up first yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah we have some ideas how to improve it but now if you switch weapons you lose basically the fire so that's, that's not ideal we are also thinking like when it starts raiding that you could also use fire. Come on, let's let's go sleep. Yeah. It's too soon. It's too so for the minigame carving that it depends what do you have in your inventory? The percentage of your success. Yeah, uh, yeah, we've been talking about it earlier. Okay. I probably missed that. So. Yeah. yeah. As you can see you can set the animals on fire. And yeah, they will take a damage. And I don't see much now. And the mammoth is fi fun to fight since he has uh, different kinds of attacks. But we also think, like, want to add more, more, like this 180 stuff that will be quicker, so you don't like take advantage of being behind him. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and this is why and <laughs> the save function comes in handy in our game. Yeah, but don't don't forget to save it. Like it's manual now. 
Uh, I'm not sure if it's automated or regarding the quest. We can we can try. Yeah, I don't think that is. So please don't forget about it. Uh, we we just didn't want like users to save constantly, right? We want to have like some feel of like exploring and dangerous. So you are going to hunt in this wilderness and. You need to be properly prepared, you saved and then uh, yeah, you, you can't like just save it like every second of it because that would break uh, the immersion, we believe. So that's the reason why don't we have it. We have uh, last 10 minutes. Uh, that chef is also asking. And that's a good point. We, uh, we are already thinking about it uh, <laughs> we are sending each other like these memes with the wolves but yeah uh, again there will be four different like taming stations or taming areas when you can uh, yeah tame four different animals so yeah this this will be also a thing because we know how like the f first dog went to be uh, yeah good good question again and it will be there uh, I don't want to spoil m much of the thing so so yeah I will not continue with the story uh, maybe we have this uh, migration quest the, the, uh, the for some of you are they are pretty hard uh, you the task is always a different but there is a counter the good thing about the country is that you don't die when the, it comes out it just like uh it's the winter's come it's coming right so everything is frozen and then you actually start freezing but you can like extend it by just consuming the food and we probably will hide the country at some point uh, completely so it will be not that <laughs> You will be the, don't that care about it. So this this is that quest. Yeah, you can see that there is like a limited time. You can't save during this. You need to do something uh, about it. And uh, like slowly, like it starts snowing, and and then the blizzard comes, and it's pretty pretty nice. And it works like that, that we have like three, four uh, migration quests and with each done uh, you unlock a new technology tree, but you also move your camp and it's another year of our story. And then uh, when you finish the last one, you will settle down and so you will become a farmer and start building the village. Uh, so yeah, uh, I can like show it like pretty faster how that looks yeah so that's that probably maybe some some wind as well and fog so yeah And when I complete it, yeah, you can see that <laughs> you will be like uh, start in the different place with different sets of tools, and yeah. Tarox, do you do have some ideas like the last last things that we can say to, to our users? Please, I would say please give a chance. We, we spent nearly three years starting to like develop it. Uh, those like we create all of these assets ourselves and we, we just want to like create a good looking low poly game and bring some new technologies there like wall metrics and some cool shaders and make it as interesting as it can be and Tarox did quite a great job here like as you can see like with each uh, weapon each each stuff uh, like there they are like these cool particles for example 
if you're cutting the trees and when like the animals charge at you they run the grass and the mud uh, get, gets everywhere one thing i can show you as well what we are like having prepared is i don't know if it's already working with the shovel uh, mm, i think it should uh, we have a shovel there and you can actually like change the terrain with it and uh, yeah this one will be get rid of the grass but we will be we we, pr we also have like animation so we will edit there so it looks like better and you can see the durability is consumed by you do doing this and you can change the surrounding uh, also if you want to build a hut to have more people in your tribe you actually need to use three parts of it uh, so it's not built just uh, by uh, one stuff but you start with the construction and then you add new stuff for it uh, later on Uh, here you can see all the technologies uh, I have unlocked and what what each recipes are. Uh, please, if you are like m missing something or don't know how to do it, uh, you can read the codex. We try to at least write the m basic stuff there, and you can unlock it and unlock more stuff there. We also yeah, or you can always join our Discord and ask there. <laughs> If yeah, it's you really needed. You can find Tarox anywhere and just wrote him. Like he will answer you yeah. anytime. Like, please try do it constantly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're just kidding. Uh, we we feel it's part of the fun, just figurating your the, the stuff yourself. Uh, there are other things that you can set. Uh, we are extending the settings. Uh, we also uh, will be having quite soon a new key, key binding fee, uh, like tab the where you can set uh, like the keys you want to use. We have like full control support. You can try to play our game on Steam Deck. It's not that optimized so I wouldn't uh, advise it but uh, it should be possible. possible. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, regarding the translation you may be seen that we just have two languages. It's just because we are still writing the story and the uh, adding the new stuff and items there but if you feel that uh, we should translate it right away uh, we will like at least try to translate the stuff we have in the game yeah so sub couple of new settings that you haven't seen like the run toggle crouch toggle a gamma you can turn off the motion blur or depth of field there is some like settings of the quality of, of the game uh, that were not there in the previous things so yeah uh, we are trying to improve every aspect of it and uh, stay tuned and look forward to new updates and with that said uh, thank you very much for like uh, watching and give us the time uh, if you like the game please please try it uh, write us what you feel about it and we hope that we will we can build this to together we have obviously some our ideas you can find our plan i just put it on the our like steam page so so you can see what what is actually delivered and what we are working on but yeah this could for sure change and uh, if you have some cool idea like uh, like beekeeping or something that you feel that could be good in the game please let us know uh, uh, we we spent like two years uh, developing this engine or system that could we can now quickly build on top of it and add new fe features quite quickly so uh, yeah sure this should be quite exciting and we won't use our time in the early access to just make the game better and prepare it for the full release and basically maybe later on port it to switch or some consoles uh, if if it's like demand there yeah i believe i need now to <laughs> destroy the stuff and you can also repair it if if it's destroyed so that's that's also like cool 
and again thank you very much thank you very much for watching we really appreciate you ones that give us a chance if you like the game please write us a review that also helps like we would use more uh, reviews and yeah thank you for everyone who was <laughs> oh, oh man yeah the the Stugla will be special character and i don't know if we will allow you to call uh, the wolf Stugla, but we will for sure have so what i have a good idea about one like quest that could never end uh, with one npcs that will be called uh yeah uh, it would be Chechka and he will be actually creating the first wheel ever and he doesn't know how to do it and what it is but he will need uh, like resources from you e each time you visit him and yeah uh, I believe this could be also a really funny quest <laughs> so <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you very much uh, guys any last words or last remarks Mm, actually, no. I think <laughs> it, it's a bit late today. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We got this this time, and we are all all dead, like working hard all day. So, forget, forgive us, forgive us uh, for for that. Uh, I just want to show the light uh, lighting. A uh, big killed by it, so we can end this stream. Nice city. Oh. Yeah. Okay, it seems that we nerfed it down, but it was like really pretty common to be killed by the lightning. So yeah. And it reminds me we added achievements as well. So yeah, that's new as well. So bye, have a great one and thank you again for giving our game a chance. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.